Days of prosperity, love and peace for those in Christ is approaching with tremendous speed. As the days of earth are passing, Jesus is coming very soon. And heaven will be a place of unimaginable beauty and wonder. Seemingly endless havens of paradise will fill the earth, the new earth. And Jesus is coming soon. With an eternity of love and prosperity ahead, God's children will never again have to fight with the trials of this life. Jesus is coming soon. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And he's coming again for his people. As we wait for our Savior from heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, he will transform our mortal bodies into beautiful, imperishable bodies, where we will share love forevermore. Jesus said to the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now we see but a poor reflection in a mirror, but then when Jesus comes, we will see even as we are known. Pastor Adadiah speaks about the return of Jesus and of paradise. Good morning, our viewers. This is Operation Take Them to Heaven. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to pray, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for our my wonderful people. And I pray for the harvest of souls. Touch life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father, for in Jesus' precious name I have prayed. My fellow viewers, I welcome this is Operation Take Them to Heaven. Last week, we have been looking at hell. We talk about the warning of God. We talk about the grace of God. We talk about the consequence of God. We talk about the grace that draw more men into God, that draw people into God. And we talk about the wrath of God. I want to encourage us, if we are, if you have, haven't listened to the, my last week message and two weeks message, two weeks ago's message, I want you to go and listen to it. Amen. Because today I'm going to look at the, uh, at, at the uh, I'm going to look at paradise. We're going to talk about paradise and we're going to talk about the kingdom of God. Amen. We know that Jesus used, uh, he used paradise as phenomic for forever. That is when he was talking to the thief on the right hand side. When thief, uh, the right hand side was, uh, the, was asking Jesus to remember him in paradise. And in, in Luke chapter 23 verse 43, he said, uh, and sh Jesus said, I surely, I say to you, today you will, you will be with me in paradise. Amen. So the other word for paradise is heaven. Amen. It's heaven. It is my prayer that we all spend our eternity in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Paradise is a place where righteous people go after death. It is a place of rest for refreshment for every righteous. May we all spend our eternity in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Every righteous that died, we enjoy the glorious presence of God in heaven. Because why? Because God is there. Because God is there. May we all spend our eternity in heaven when we die in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want us to look at the story of a rich man and a poor man that is called Lazarus. Amen. The Bible gave the example of heaven and hell. It tells us when the, 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 the rich man was tormented in, in, in hell fire and, 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 and a poor man was enjoying the glory of God in heaven. Amen. 
So when we have time, I want us to look at this scripture in the um, Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 20, 31. Amen. 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 I want to encourage us that we must try our possible best to make it to heaven. Amen. Amen. Trial will come, tribulation will come, affliction will come, all sorts of things will come, but we must focus on God. Amen. Because God has the final say about you. Amen. We must not try as much as possible to please Him. The man, the pe a person who has a final say about us. So I want the whole world to know that heaven and hell is real. That is where we stay forever. That is we call something everlasting. Everlasting means unending. That is where we need to try our possible best to please God. By all means. Amen. Don't not to listen to every wind of doctrine. Anything that does not that that, do, that seems to be questionable, we must not listen to it. Amen. Amen. Please know this. I want us to know this. That every sinner, every backslider, every un un unbeliever who die in sin who have no chance to give their life to Jesus, without repenting, they will spend their eternity in hell. I did not say it. The word of God says it. Even all those false prophets, they will spend their eternity in hell. Amen. Even though in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, says something there. Is, that is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. He said, Not everyone that called that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. To the kingdom of God. He said, But it he who does, who does the will of my father, which is in heaven. You cannot say you're a man of God and you are not doing the will of the Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have, have, we, have we not prophesied in your name? Amen. In thy name, have you not cast out demons? And in your name, have you not done many wonders work? And the Bible says that Jesus will, the, 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 he will say to them, Lord will say to them on that day, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. That is why I want to encourage us, don't listen to every wind of doctrine. Don't listen to any doctrine that is not doctrine of God. Amen. Amen. We must understand that God wants every one of us to spend our eternity in heaven. Amen. He wants us to be in paradise. Amen. But it is a matter of choice. It is a matter of choice. Amen. The word of God has come to you this morning. This is the word of God which I'm going to leave with you this morning. That is in Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. The word of God said that he that had an ear, if you have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the people. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying to us. Whether, uh, whether you are Christian or not, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to, to him who overcome, I will give to eat from the tree of life. Amen. Which is in the midst, in the paradise of God. Amen. May we be an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. In conclusion, I want to lead every one of you, if you want to give your life to Jesus, if a backslider, and you want to come back to Jesus, come to Jesus because the word of God tells us in Matthew, in John chapter, John chapter 14, verse 6. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one come to the Father except through me. We can only come to God, God in heaven through Jesus Christ. We cannot come to God through any other means. It's only through Jesus Christ. That's why I want you to give your life to Jesus. For those who, does, who do not believe, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, I want you to believe right now. Because Jesus Christ is your visa to God. 
is your visa to heaven. Amen. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this message. I give you all the glory. Please forgive all my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to please you always. Thank you, almighty God. For in Jesus' precious name, I have prayed. For those of you who are just giving your life to Jesus, I want to say a big congratulations to you. Heaven is rejoicing. The angel of God, they are rejoicing over you. I want to say a big congratulations to you. Please, I want you to find a living church. I want you to, 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 to log in into where you can listen to undiluted word of God. Brethren, please help me to forward this message to people on your social media. Bye from now. I want to, us to know that we start starting our main service at 11 o'clock. Bye from now. Bye. Shalom.